हेलो वेलकम बैक टू वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन लेक्चर सीरीज इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट व्हाट इज हैंड ऑफ एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट प्रैक्टिकल कंसीडरेशन फॉर हैंड ऑफ इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हैंड ऑफ डिटेक्शन स्ट्रेटजीज देन हैंड ऑफ टाइप्स विथ रेफरेंस टू लिंक ट्रांसफर एंड टाइप्स ऑफ हैंड ओवर सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ हैंड ऑफ डिटेक्शन स्ट्रेटजीज so in cellular system we have three types of hand off detection strategies first mobile control hand off that is mcho the hand off decision is completely taken by mobile then network control hand off that is ncho so network will responsible for taking the hand off decision and the third one which is a mobile assisted hand off that is maho so let's see each of this in detail so first we will start with mobile control hand off that is mcho and in this strategy mobile station continuously monitor the radio signal strength and quality of the surrounding base station so when some predefined criteria are met then mobile station check for the best candidate base station for an available traffic channel and request the hand off to occur so here you can see that mobile station is continuously monitoring the signal strength and hand off decision is also taken by the mobile station so this kind of hand off is used in a dect and pacs standards earlier and this is not very useful as there will be a lots of burden on a mobile station next we have a uh, network control hand off that is ncho so in a network control hand off the surrounding base station the msc or both monitor the radio signal so in previous case mobile was measuring the signal strength and here the surrounding base station and msc or the both can monitor the radio signal so when signal strength and quality deteriorate below the predefined threshold so whatever hand off threshold we have decided if signal strength is below this level the network arrange for a hand off to another channel so here you can understand that the decision of hand off is taken by the network it will be either by the base station bsc or msc so mobile have to do nothing the everything will be done by the Uh, network so therefore it is called as a network control hand off the example of such a system is ct2 plus and amps third type of a hand off is mobile assisted hand off so this one is very popular and let's see it is a variant of ncho strategy in this strategy the network direct the mobile station to measure the signal from surrounding base station and to report those measurement back to the network so now instead of measuring all signal by a base station or msc here the measurement is done by the mobile station and the mobile station will report this measurement back to the network the network then uses this measurement to determine where a hand off is required and which channel so this will give a better and accurate result and this kind of hand off strategy is used in gsm and is95 cdma and so on so this is the most popular hand off strategy because the mobile is measuring the signal strength which will give the accurate result and the all the processing will be done at the network so that will reduce the load on the mobile phone also and that's why it is very popular so next we will discuss about hand off types with reference to link transfer now based upon link transfer it can be of two type one is known as a hard hand off and another one is known as a soft hand off let us discuss about a hard hand over which is a break before make technique and here you can see that we have let's say a cell a and cell b 
Now let's say user is present at the boundary of cell A and right now cell A is serving to the user. Now here break before make means what? Whenever user will enter from cell A to cell B, it will first break the connection with this particular base station A and then it will be make a connection with the base station B. So therefore it is written as a break before make. And old connection is broken before a new connection is activated. And primarily used in FDMA and TDMA system, for example, GSM and different frequency range used in adjacent cells to minimize the interference. So hard handover is basically popular in uh, GSM. Then we have a soft handover which is a make before break. So here you can understand if a user is at the boundary of this particular cell let's say A and this user will get the signal from the base station A as it is within the base station A. Now this user want to move to another base station B. So make before break means the user will receive signal from base station B also for some fraction of time and then it will break the connection with the base station A. So new connection is activated before the old is broken. So soft handover is basically used in UMTS to improve signal quality. It is used in WCDM and CDMA technology. Uplink and downlink signal may be combined for the better signal and a mobile may in UMTS spend a large part of connection time in soft handover. It is somehow provide a better connectivity and reliability. So therefore it is a popular in CDMA and it is more seamless handover because user will not feel any kind of break in connection while user will have a handover from one cell to another cell. So this is all about a uh, soft handover. So next we have a uh, types of handover for intracellular system and it can be of four type that is intracell handover and intercell or intra BSC handover, inter BSC or intra MSC handover and inter MSC handover. So here remember that intra means within something. So intra cell means within the cell handover. Inter cell means between two cell. So let us see our first case that is intra cell. When user is moving from let's say one sector to another sector. So it is possible that uh, we will have the handover. So this kind of handover is known as an intra cell or inter sector handover. Second, we have a intercell or intra BSC handover. So you can see that in the second case, user is moving from this particular cell to another cell. So you can see that the BTS are changing, but we have the same BSC. That means what it is an intra BSC within this BSC, but cell are changing. Therefore, we are saying that it is intercell from one cell to another cell. Then third we have inter BSC or intra MSC. So in the third case you can see that user is moving from cell 1 to this particular cell and we can see that BSC are also changing. So user is moving from this particular BSC to this BSC that means it is a inter BSC but MSC is not changed. So that that's why we are saying that it is a intra MSC the handover is between the BSC and the handover is within the MSC. Last, we have a inter MSC handover, which means the user is moving from let's say one cell to fourth cell. And here you can see that the user is moving from this particular MSC to this last MSC. So MSC is changed and therefore we are saying that it is a inter MSC handover. So you can very easily understand by just understanding the concept of intra and inter and it can be for cell, BSC or MSC. In the end we have a handoff types with reference to network. 
that is uh, inter-system handoff. Whatever we have discussed in the previous slide, it was the intra-system handoff. That is, it was within one system, let's say GSM or CDMA. But handoff is also possible between the inter-system. That is, if mobiles move from one cellular system to different cellular systems, connected by different MSC, an inter-system handoff becomes necessary. And it can be between GSM to WCDMA or WCDMA to LTE. So, you must have seen in your phone that you are moving from 3G to 4G and 4G to 3G back. So, this LTE is representing a 4G technology. So, you can have a handover from 4G to 3G WCDMA or it may be possible that uh, you have a handover from any of this combination. So, this is known as an inter-system handoff. So, I hope you have understood the concept of handoff very clearly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are not subscribed this channel, please subscribe it now and give your valuable feedback in the comment. See you next time with some more interesting wireless communication lectures.